Okay, we're going to continue on and we're going to look at the um, notes here. We're basically on page uh, nine here. I will just finish doing this on page eight. And on page nine, we're going to do the uh, format, uh, the footing basically, so it looks, uh, you know, stands out. It's nice and dark outlines and that sort of thing. And we're also going to dimension it, all right? So we'll start from here. We're going to use a new tool, which is basically um, a 2D tool, which you can uh, make lines thicker and, uh, well, thinner and thicker sort of thing. All right, so let's do that. Uh, okay, here we go. All I'm going to do is uh, zoom up into my level one here, which is uh, where we're building up the structural plan. All right, so we'll just get in there. Just following the instructions, basically it says to go to the modify tab, which is this one here. And just here you're going to find this little tool here. Once I click this here, it will bring up this other little add-on here, which you can pick up a number of different line styles as such, or line thicknesses. You can create your own as well. Um, if and when we get up to uh, looking at the uh, manage tab, I can show you how to create some new ones in there. Uh, for those of you that are eager to get onto that, I'm pretty sure that's still up on the, uh, already up from last semester on the YouTube. And um, anyhow, uh, that's um, where we've got to go. The, according to our instructions here, uh, we need to select the wide uh, lines down the bottom there, the last one, okay, um, from the line style panel, which we just did. Uh, we, we do need to correct uh, that. That should be from the line style, not form. Okay, so uh, we've done that. So basically, we have this happening. We've just got to go around. We are now ready to dim uh, woo, not dimension. So uh, repeat. Where are we? <laughs> we've lost ourselves here. Then start clicking on the perimeter edge to thicken the edge up. Then we're going to go along, pick up a medium line, and we're going to do the just the internal uh, set down or the rebate. Okay, there. Okay, so let's um, I continue with that. Uh, where are we? Yeah. All right. Just a matter of going somewhere on there, just sort of highlights that line and just clicking it. Yeah, do note that when we come to here, see how it's only going to do part of it. So you can do you can do this first if you want, then come and do that after. But I just try. I like to go around clockwise and just do all the bits as I go along. It's much easier. All right. So. Now this won't show up, won't work unless you've got thick lines, by the way, on here, which is this, this little button up the, in the um, quick access toolbar. Right, so th uh, thick lines have to be on for that to work, otherwise you won't see anything. There's a lot of terminologies that are similar, like thin lines, thick lines, you know. So uh, there's the uh, tool we're just using, the, um, what's this one called? This is called line work, LW. All right, so. Let's go here and here. And oh, see here, it doesn't look like it's highlighting. There you go, that's doing it now. All right, we've done it. Beautiful. So that's, that's worked. And uh, the next thing we're going to do here wow. is the uh, medium lines. Now I'm going to zoom in here and do this. Now, if this doesn't work for you, it might be because if you remember back in project three, we went through and modified the external brickwork so that the uh, bottom of the brickwork was, you know, the rebate was 30, uh, 30 millimeters deep, but the brickwork, we made sure there was a 10 millimeter gap down the bottom uh, there. Th that, that's to ensure that the brickwork wasn't touching the concrete slab so that these lines can be visible if, it, if you, Put the uh, concrete, uh, sorry, the brickwork right down to the floor. Uh, we tend not to be able to get these lines to come up. Or at least last time I tried it, which was in release thir 13. So the workaround has been to uh, use artistic license and then leave a little 10 millimeter gap. Um, and you can call that, um, you know, the uh, brick coursing uh, gap, I suppose, All right, for the mortar. So there you go. So that's working. So if yours is not working, just make sure your brickwork is not going right down to the uh, concrete, so it's not touching. All right. Can I add a tip? Yeah. yeah, tip. Yeah, give us a tip, Trevor. If you don't drop your girders for oh, yeah. minus 30, yeah. that uh, rebate line won't 
pass all the way through either. Because you're good as a, a flush with this slab? Yeah, because you touch the top of the girder. Yeah, right. So that in fact, there's no rebate. Yeah, there, so yeah. that's how you uh, work out how yeah. to drop. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, this should have been done uh, yeah. as well, yeah, from earlier on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your girders, or which are basically your outside footings, uh, should be dropped 30 millimeters as well, of course. Otherwise, there's no rebate as such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so when I yeah. put that rebate yeah. on, Leave gaps around. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, interesting. There you go. That's, I haven't thought of that one, but yes, uh, I assume that, that would have been done, but not necessarily. <laughs> okay, uh, because you probably were mucking around to see if you can get these things trimmed up, perhaps here, because yeah. a lot of people this didn't work, and uh, yeah. so that that's one workaround people try to do, but that still didn't work. All right, good. Um, so we're moving on with that one uh, to the next uh, page, which is on page ten, step. Oh, so step one, really? Anyway, yeah, it must be step one for something. Um, it says we're going to uh, do some, um, uh, we're now going to do dimension, which is right on the bottom of uh, page nine. All right, so uh, we're now going to do dimension. Step one is only one step to dimensioning, I think, yes. <laughs> one, one quick step, okay, so that's what you've got to end up with. All right, let's uh, do this one quick step. All right, we've done dimensioning before, but let's have another look. Let's go to uh, uh, Notate uh, and we'll go to the Aligned uh, tool. DI is the short command. Okay, now if you pop in here and just try and, and do this, uh, notice if I go there, I can't really see much. If I go there, I'm seeing something. If I go there, I'm seeing something easier, right? Um, the thing is here, uh, it is picking it up. I will pick it up if I go there, but it's easier if you turn off the line weight, which basically undoes, it doesn't undo what we have just done. It just uh, stops it from showing up for a minute until it's the dimensions, but you can bring it back. All right? But yeah, if you turn it off for a minute, you can uh, easily see where you're picking up your dimension from. All right, so with this thing here, as it works out, you have to just go through and do the whole string of dimensions. Um, and then we place it, which is um, quite different to AutoCAD. All right, here. And, and we just place it over here all the time, making sure we stick within the standard, which has to be, in theory, for me uh, mechanical uh, engineering, it's uh, uh, 12 to 15 millimeters away from the feature. Uh, not that uh, sort of relates to this uh, civil stuff that much, uh, but anyway. Uh, that's the standard. All right, so that's all looking okay. It's all pre-programmed into the dimension style, so it's, it's about a millimeter away from the feature there. All, right, all good. Okay, so we'll just keep going now and do the um, the others. It's only a few dimensions. All right, so let's do them. All right, here we go. And the last one. Uh, so I picked the wrong spot of the last one. Um, but anyway, because uh, we'll just put it up here. All right, the uh, reason I said I picked the wrong spot is because see this one here, there's a bit of a gap. Well, this one there isn't, even this one's wrong. It should be a bit of a gap there and, and there. You, you probably can, um, if I just come out of this, you, you could probably go in there and muck around. Um, see if we did that. That does just do leave you a gap, but you can actually uh, move it up manually as well. All right, so, and you can also delete that part of it as well. Um, what was the trick we used last time? Control key and click, was it? Um, no. Hover over. Yeah, ho hover over it and tap, wasn't it? Yes. And click. And then you can delete that and um, you can do it again, if for, for example. And. Uh, this time for go up there, maybe, and then just drop it there. All right, we work this time. All right, okay. So that's a bit of um, so yeah. What we'll do is hover and tab, and then he just selects it. All right. Okay, so that's um, now we're going to do the overall, which is um, back into it again. Let's make sure I get the end bit here this time, so I can get the little gap happening at the end. And uh, there's all right. So yeah, this thing here sort of does lock in a bit to certain areas there. So all right, so let's drop that there. That's done. 
And the what's the last one then? Oh, what did I do? Did I do oh, I did it that way around. That's all right. Doesn't matter. That should have been the overall actually. That's fine. Uh, the way it doesn't matter how you do it. There's no real rules as such. Uh, just whatever. All right, something like that. All the dimensions are there. The fact is, you got the dimensions. It's buildable and it's fine. All right. So now uh, the only problem here is that I can't demonstrate the next bit. <laughs> which um, was, if I show you here, <coughs> oh, if I don't show you there, this is a big uh, file. What page were we, 10? Uh, all right. Um, I was going to show you how to move these along away from there. All right, so it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, well, if you do it that way, obviously, there's not an issue. If you do it the other way and you put them down here, it is an issue, so I'll just... Um, just drop a couple down the bottom here just to show you that there is an issue. How you can fix it uh, easier. I'll just well, I'll drop them all down there. I'll just put some down here. All right, so uh, if you had it like all of them on, you know, on one side like that, or, or even if you had these down the bottom here, see how we're getting this cut through there? So what you can do is escape a couple of times, get out of the command, click on here. Uh, if you remember, at this stage you can uh, use a little tick here to get rid of the arrow. Otherwise, if you leave it in there, what happens? Uh, you move this out, you get a little leader happening, and it's the same with you know this. All right. But at any stage, you can just click it off, and they all go anyway. All right. So that's how you can fix that up a bit. All right. And the same as this one. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. So you get something like that. All right. Okay, so that's uh, that one there. Dimensions are done. One step done. There's only one step for that. The next thing is adding reinforcement, which is um, a good little thing to do. Let's see how much time we used up for that. All right. What we might do is uh, stop this uh, at this position. It's uh, one lot of uh, recordings, and we'll do the next one now. Okay. Any questions on this one while we got it running? It's all good. Okay.